Hello, this is the Watch Dog. Welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today we have a double unboxing for you. I have two watches from AliExpress, and you only see one package because they finally got smart enough and started putting more than one watch in the same package. Let's start with the wrist check. I'm wearing this encased 6034 large second chronograph, and Gregor is wearing my WM watch WM157. I asked Grogu if he was glad summer was over. He said no. On Tatooine, summer is the least hot season. The other seasons are summer plus plus, gargantuan summer, and inferno. He said one of his favorite songs is the Inferno Time Blues. All right, let's get these watches open. Once again, two watches in one big package. So we'll go ahead and start with this one. As far as which one is the least or the most, I think they're about the same. I don't think the one is really, they're both in the same league anyway. So usually if I have a double, I like to start with the lesser of the two, but they're about equal. Man, they really packed this one good though. Damn. They wrapped the crap out of this. Okay, apparently I dropped my camera and then I accidentally put the phone in slow motion mode when I put it on. So you guys uh, missed all the plastic unwrapping. So I basically have to start over and I can't put the plastic back on. So you're going to miss all that. But anyway, we have the Parn Sarpy instructions and we don't have any tools. And here is the watch, all unwrapped. I still have the blue on the crown, so I guess there's something. But let's go ahead and spin the bezel. And the bezel action is super light, super light. And there is back play. And you will be knocking this out of position because it's so light. But other than that, it's a nice looking watch. It looks like it's got a sub case and bezel, but the dial itself doesn't look sub. It looks more Seiko. Uh, the 12 o'clock and the hands. And it's definitely got a Seiko second hand with the stoplight. But we do have a on the fly adjustable clasp, so that's great. But it is a nice looking watch and I'm happy with it other than the bezel action. So let's go ahead and put it on the wrist and see what it looks like. Here is the watch on the size of my seven and a half inch wrist. That looks nice, that wears nice. And look at this, I can get four fingers. So I will give this the Joe Haynes seal of approval. All right, let's go on to the next watch. All right, let's get this other one open. This one, other one should be a lot easier to open than the last one. Much easier. And we have a Tandorio. Another watch that Jody will never review because it reminds him of Indian food. Here are the instructions. And here's the watch. I haven't done very many 50 fathom homages, so I went ahead and got this one. And here it is, and this is not a double pass strap. This is just a regular spring bar strap. Looks like a double pass, but it's not. So I don't have a lot of plastic to remove, so this should be a lot quicker. Yeah, there's nothing on the box crystal. This is definitely a box crystal. And it's a nice looking watch. And uh, as you can see, this is a homage to the 50 Fathoms. The bezel action is really good. I like the bezel action. A lot better than the Tarn Sarpy I just unboxed. So let's go ahead and put it on the wrist and see what it looks like. 
Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. That looks nice, that wears nice. And I have five notches left. So this one too gets the Johane seal of approval. Man, this is, I like this watch. I think they did a good job with it. Well, thank you for watching my unboxing video and I will be back with a review. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like either one of these watches, be sure to use my affiliate link and I'll get a tiny commission. But those commissions do add up. Bye.